Well, welcome back everybody. We're continuing on with the log arch. I'm hoping to finish this thing up this weekend. So we have to mount wheels yet and we have to do what I consider the fun stuff and that would be mounting all the workings for the winch, the pulleys, things like that. Our chain configuration for uh, I guess some nice rigging chain here for this process and I have a couple ideas of how I want to get it set up to make it easy and I also want to be able to take this off of here and use it whenever I want. We're going to be mounting our winch. We have a, uh, we've got a decent winch, pretty heavy duty winch, really never been used. It's, uh, it's made for mounting on a trailer, stuff like that. But anyway, you guys will see. We're going to mount that on a, pleat, on a piece of half inch plate steel. It's going to get welded onto that top uh, three by three angle. And I'm going to have it so the spool's kind of sitting over top of the plate. I may need to add a gusset. Uh, Thomas Russell, in your question, I haven't typed out the answer yet, but you did ask about if I uh, plan on adding more stuff, why did I paint it? I'll do that just it's the time of year things are going to rust quick with the moisture ups and downs, things like that, temperature swings. So if I need to weld more on here, I'm just going to grind off a clean spot. I did pick up a, uh, a hitch for it today. So we're going to get that installed, hopefully in this video. If not this video, definitely the next, because honestly, once we get tires on this thing, it's not going to do us much good without that hitch. So anyway. Stay tuned, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you on the other side of it. So I have a couple of these hooks right here, and what I'm gonna do, rather than drill through and hook them that way, I'm gonna weld them, pretty good gob of weld all the way around there. I'm gonna do two of them like so, and you guys will see the idea behind that here momentarily. Should maybe put them a little more towards the middle though. Might be a little better. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Now let's see, got these newfangled welding glove things, I finally found them. You know I could have just picked up a new set pretty cheap, but uh, I'm pretty cheap so I've been doing a lot of cleaning out here this week because looking at this stuff on camera is just horrible looking. So going through some piles of crap and what do I find? I find my welding gloves finally. How about that? I was doing the Michael Jackson in the last video. I only had one glove I found. So, here we go. This little piece right here is making me crazy. I'm kind of making these so I have my option here. I can hang it on like so, or these hooks are just right for this chain. You want to choke it up like that. I think that'll work. See on the farm here, every tractor with a loader has two hooks, just like that, welded onto the buckets. And we lift cows with them, all kinds of good stuff. Dead cows, of course, not, not live ones. Yes, I will take that. Now be honest, have you guys ever just sat in your shop chair for about 10 minutes or three hours? We'll just say 10 minutes because it sounds better than three hours. And just stared at something you knew you had to move and you knew it was kind of heavy and you just don't feel like moving it. Now that is where I am right now. I will tell you though, it is kind of nice having it just a little bit cleaner in here. I mean, not much, we don't want to break we don't want to break the vision of this nasty large pit of despair after that little pit of despair we used to work out of. Well, I can tell you it's going to be a little hefty. I wonder why I ache. 
Oh, that's not too bad. There's that damn cat again. How did you get in here? Probably the back door. Okay. Well, I guess we could pack up the pipe vise for now. Because the rest of our work's going to be kind of on the floor like cavemen. But that's what we do. I'm kind of hoping this battery I have for the winch charges. Otherwise, I have to buy one. That's no good. It probably would run off the four-wheeler just fine. I just... Uh, four-wheeler batteries in the charging systems aren't really the beefiest things on the planet. So I don't want to overtax it. But let's grab, I'll show you the winch that we're using and what we're going to do with it. Here's the winch we're going to be using. Uh, I, I want to say it's a 2,000 or 2,500 pound. I think it might even be bigger than that. But uh, anyway, it should be more than plenty for what we're going to do. So what we have on the bottom here, we have three slots here that we're going to use to bolt this thing down. So basically, all I'm going to do, I'm going to weld our plate on here, mark out where these holes have to be, and then we're going to drill and tap it, put a couple studs, and then we can uh, go from there with it. So we're probably going to have it sitting somewhere like this probably. Haven't really quite decided all the way yet. I might even do another bolt right in the front there as long as it doesn't interfere with our cable. But uh, I want to be able to take this thing off if I want to because it's pretty handy to have kicking around. So I guess we're just going to get after this portion of it. So we have a nice pleat, yeah, a nice piece of plate steel here. We are going to use to mount this winch on. And go something like that, semi centered, maybe. Let's see just how this looks.
Well, I never get quite as far as I say I'm gonna in the intro of the videos. Uh, the clock always runs over on me. Before I know it, it's midnight or one or two in the morning. And then I all of a sudden get really tired and really want to go to bed. But uh, so anyway, this is where we're at right now. I'm really hoping to kind of get this done this weekend. We'll see what happens. I pretty much have everything I need to do it. I just have to, uh, and I'll take the camera. Hopefully I'll take the camera when I go out back to some old hay equipment to rob a couple of stub axles off of a uh, hay bind. And what that's going to do for me is it's going to make all the front tires on all of our tractors. I'll be able to use them for these. And I've got a pile of spares out there that uh, are good to go, but it'll also make it so I can use implement the big balloon implement tires. So I'll have plenty of, plenty of height on the tires. I know uh, some of you in the comments, uh, Mike Hagdell specifically, had asked with the narrowness of this A-frame, I'm not going to be able to get a very big log in there. But uh, right up top there where the hooks are, it's over 12 inches. So... Yeah, plenty of room, and it's like 34 in between at the bottom. By the time I get those tires on there, I should be able to haul a 34-inch log if I wanted to. Mind you, I have no plans to ever haul a log that big with my four-wheeler because I really don't want to bust the gearbox out, things like that. Always concerned about that. You know, I work on enough equipment. I fix enough stuff to where I see when some of the epic failures you get end up costing you a lot of money. There are times when you just have to say, Either one, I need a tractor. Secondly, maybe leave this alone. Or third, maybe bring the Alaskan mill in and do it that way. But uh, since I bought a bandsaw mill, I haven't touched the Alaskan mill and I have no plans to do that either. But uh, I guess never say never because who knows? Who knows what the future will bring? But um, so here we are. We have our winch mounted. We have a snatch block on the front. Uh, I had to make had to do some goofy things there to make it so I could use the pulley on it. Um, I may even get a shorter snatch block. I don't need one that big for what I'm doing. All I'm doing with this is I'm just picking up the end of a log with this winch. That's it. I, I'm not, I don't plan on, of course, famous last words, I don't plan on dragging logs with this setup. I plan on, meaning the winch, I plan on just lifting the end of the log up off the ground so I can get my chains around it, hook it onto the two hooks right there, and tow it out of the woods. Um, got the top painted. I'm kind of hoping I don't. It's just very solid. There's no wiggle in it. I've got a nice big pine log out there that's pretty wet and all that going the other way, so it should be perfect to test this. I think it's an 18-footer, so it'll be a perfect test of this thing, especially considering most of the logs I only need are 12 to 16 feet for the next timber frame build. Of course, there will be some longer ones. There'll be some longer ones too, but for the most part, it's 12 to 16 feet. So we get this done, we're gonna see how it works. And then we'll go on and make the, hopefully make the back portion of it at some point. I always have so many, so many plans. And the other thing I planned on doing, I talked extensively the last few years about forging tools and selling them. And I got to be honest with you folks, I just do not seem to have the time to do it. Um, I get to thinking sometimes that I can do it all, and then I realize that I just can't. I make a lot of plans, and I make the mistake of voicing them in these videos, and a lot of times I'm not able to follow through with them when I think I can, or just plain not able to follow through with them at all. But uh, I guess everything will come in its own good time. I, it's not like I don't have a job or anything like that. I mean, everybody always needs money. That's, that's the way life is. But, uh, hopefully someday I can make that happen. I really want to. I mean, I'm kind of set up for it now. But for this project, I would like to make my own set of tools for this project. Uh, I'd like to, I guess that's as far as I'll go with it, because I guess we will... We'll see what we get. Uh, I guess we'll just plain see where we're at by the time it's time to head to the woods. But I, I'm a big fan of making my own things. You know, this thing right here, this has cost me. So the hitch and that snatch block, I have like 35 bucks into this log arch, $35. Everything else is scrounged. Um, 
everything was free on this. Even, even this winch was given to me by an uncle of mine. He had never used it. This thing's never been hooked up, never been used. I did test it out. And uh, even the battery I have is free. Hopefully it holds a charge. If not, I'm going to have to pony up and buy one. But uh, anyway, enough of my yak. And you guys have a good night, and I will see you on the next one.